Phase for doses could have a new shot in the mix. Johnson & Johnson released the results from the phase three trial, and they now have their sights set on getting the green light for emergency use next month. Now, Governor Ron DeSantis said often over the past two months that this vaccine could be a game changer in the process. 10 Tampa Bay's Madison Allworth spoke to a USF virologist about the pros and the cons of the shot. Johnson & Johnson could have the latest COVID-19 vaccine to get emergency use authorization, even though its efficacy is a little lower than the currently approved vaccines. The FDA, when they put out their guidelines for emergency use authorization, they put a target efficacy of 50%. They seem to have reached that. J&J's vaccine efficacy is 72% in the United States, but it also tackles the most important part of dealing with this pandemic. All these vaccines also seem to be very good at protecting against hospitalizations and deaths. And I think that's the main thing that we worry about. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine also has other benefits. It's a single dose, so you get your one shot and you're done. It also is easy to store. Um, and, and it's much more resistant to temperature shifts, so it doesn't have to be kept at super cold temperatures for transport. If the vaccine is approved, Teng would recommend getting vaccinated over waiting. If it's a choice between, for example, getting the J&J vaccine now or waiting six to nine months for a Pfizer dose or a Moderna dose, take it now. I mean, but it's not guaranteed that Johnson and Johnson will receive the green light. What do you think? Do you think they're going to get emergency use authorization? Yeah, you know, this is one of the things that I've been kind of railing on for the entire pandemic. They've done their science by press release. So we've only seen the top line numbers. Even so, healthcare professionals are hopeful. If the vaccine efficacy numbers are really what they say they are, yeah, they'll easily get approval. Again, this vaccine still needs to go through the FDA to get cleared for emergency use, just like Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines did back in December. So how does this one compare to those two? Let's take a deeper dive. So as you heard, Johnson & Johnson requires just one shot. In trials, it shows 66% overall effectiveness at preventing moderate to severe illness and 85% in preventing the most serious symptoms. Moderna is a two-shot vaccine. Its trial showed a 94% effectiveness in preventing mild to severe symptoms. Pfizer is also a two-shot vaccine. That one showed 95% effectiveness.